Well, good morning, America. This is Seven, and here's my thoughts on a few matters. First, I hear and I see a lot of videos of professionals and so-called educated people and or reporters or whatever the hell they want to call themselves repeatedly say the same thing. Fully automatic weapons are illegal, completely illegal. There's absolutely no way this person could have obtained this weapon legally. Here's your reality check, buddy. Since 1986, when federal law changed, making it illegal for everybody to have a fully automatic weapon at will, but rather to go through a bunch of federal mumbo jumbo and get a federal stamp and with that federal stamp buddy you can have and you can own and you can possess a fully automatic weapon you think I'm lying why don't you do something learn okay moving on I uh, I see that some Democrats including Hillary Clinton are jumping up on their pedestal saying we need more gun control my question is motherfucker how much more gun control do you need because tragedies happen people snap Things go wrong in people's lives. We're not perfect. None of us are, even though everybody acts like it. So you want to do some more gun legislation. That's okay. For what purpose? These people will not be happy. And by these people, I'm speaking of the Democrats, Hillary Clinton, the Democratic Party, what one would call the left the one that wants more government, more programs, more everything with less uh, independence and less uh, self-reliability. Whereas on the right, which I guess I find myself, is more to less government. Get the fuck out of my business. I don't need you in my business. Humans have existed in this country for a shit long time. Before you came along to try to tell me how I should live. So, I'm a conservative. I'm on the right. So, you know, these Democrats, the left, are saying, oh, we got to take, we, we need more gun control. Okay, so you're not going to be happy until you take all the guns from the American people, much like Australia. Uh, I think there is a couple of situations in which you're allowed to have a weapon, uh, a long gun, no handguns, and uh, even long guns have been confiscated for the most part, as far as I understand. Now, if that was to happen here in America, oh, everybody would feel happy, at least they will on the media, because that's the only people that the media is going to show you, the people that are going, yay, we've got guns off the street, yay! And then a week later, they get popped in the head by a criminal who didn't turn in his gun. And because you had everybody else turn in the guns, now nobody has a gun to help you, much less defend themselves. Now here's something else, and this is a beauty. You're going to love this. How do you control a strong people? You take away their ability to fight. You take away their ability to defend themselves. Okay? So, that's the gun thing. That's about all i got to say about that. So, I hear that, uh, well, actually, the first thing I heard was that Antifa had uh, taken responsibility for this and apparently some Aussie branch of Antifa did put something on the internet of course 
nothing disappears on the internet. Once you put it there, it's there. Anyway. So, uh, I told Mother, I said, Mother, that's, that's not smart. That is not smart at all. If they are responsible for this, they should not be saying it because they will be identified as a terrorist organization and stopped. At least, I would have hoped. Uh, back when I was younger and growing up, it would have been stopped. Uh, still, later on, I hear that, no, ISIS took responsibility for it. Okay. I don't think so. And, you know, I like to keep an open mind. I, I don't think it's ISIS. Because, let's face it, people, ISIS takes responsibility for everything. All they want to do is jump on other people's misery to propel their own ideology. Pretty simple when you think about it, but I know a lot of people don't think about it. Let me ask you this, what if I took responsibility for it? I take responsibility for the Las Vegas shooting. What the fuck does that mean? Are you going to start saying, yo, man, seven did it? What the fuck? It doesn't matter, honestly, who takes responsibility for what. Because it's all irrelevant. The only relevant person that is involved in this situation is the person that pulled the fucking trigger. He's dead whether by his own hand or by the hand of the law officers. It matters not. Because I worked in Vegas. I carried a gun. And let me tell you something. I wouldn't have wasted one second to drop that motherfucker if I had the opportunity to. That means if I was on whatever floor this motherfucker was on and I heard the gunshots I could get to him, I would have killed him myself. We all would have. Every one of us would have. I would hope. You know, I also see this, 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 this uh, using of tags, blaming <sighs> this or that, blaming Republicans, conservatives, gun toters, gun owners, white men, black men, green men. <laughs> Y'all need to just fucking stop. Seriously, you do. And I tell you why, because you're not helping anybody's situation. All you're doing is making the situation worse for yourself. Because of all the stress and struggle that you have in your life, that you feel it necessary to put, put this information out there. Okay? And you're making it hard for everyone else. As far as to move past and begin the healing process and not just a healing for the uh, loss of life okay but how about how about a more deeper healing a deeper healing to where we can get rid of these uh, false divisions that have been implanted and hammered into our heads 24 hours a day seven days a motherfucking week on Facebook, YouTube, Google, they decide what is relevant and not relevant to your search. Perhaps you'll get to where you want to go and see the information that you want to see, and perhaps it'll be buried. All right. And you would think that Americans, knowing that we have the First Amendment right, freedom of speech, would not tolerate this. But here lately, it seems like a lot more people are less American and more communists. Uh, and if communists is the wrong fucking word to use, okay, let's go socialist. Okay, either way, whatever. You want to say Nazi? Okay, Nazis. Who's the Nazis, though? 
who are the white supremacists? Who are the people that have created so much hate and resentment and strife and stress that individuals would actively seek a way to hurt other human beings for some bullshit fucking cause that I, I guarantee goddamn to you in 50 years will not make a goddamn bit of difference to anybody at all. Trust me. I'm 50 years old. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, let me tell you about one other thing I think that's kind of bothered me. I understand that anonymity, you know what word I'm trying to use, okay? I understand that that is a inherent uh, right of the internet, and that's okay, as long as you use it appropriately with respect, okay? But when you, when you start causing problems for other people, for your own laughter, then you become the problem. And the people of today, for some reason, put up with all this. I don't understand why. I just watched a gentleman tell me, in no uncertain terms, he's ready. He's ready for this fucker to pop off. He's been ready. Okay? Um... This is not, this is not America. I mean, war has always been a part, okay? The Civil War, especially, where we fought amongst ourselves, okay? We don't have to have a Civil War 2.0. And it's very easy to prevent it. But it requires you to make a personal choice. A personal choice to turn off the noise that is infecting you with ideas and perceptions that may or may not exist. It really shouldn't matter to you. Because in your sphere of control, influence, and no control and influence, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're not as big as you think you are. Okay? What I control is this house. In this walls of this house is what I control. Everything out of this house is just in my influence. My influence. Okay, that's it. Maybe I wave. Maybe I'll smile, talk, help help somebody if I can, or pet some animals. Do, do whatever I can do to be positive in the world. You know what I'm saying? Genuine, honest, integritous. That's that's something. Oh, that's probably going to be another that integrity. Okay, integrity to me, to me, because I taught this shit. By the way, I get pet peeve of mine. Hang on, I'm about ready to give it to you. A pet peeve of mine. It's for individuals to make assumptions about me and then tell me their assumptions. As if to tell me their assumptions are correct. And I tell you, you only look in the direction that you're looking. You don't know me. You will never know me. So you can take me for bare bones what I'm saying. You know, it's my heart that I speak from. I don't go out of this house, so, you know, this is my interaction with the world. And the wonderful thing about this is if you don't like it, you can turn it off. And you'll never hear from me again because you're the one that's watching me. Okay.
So, I talk so fucking much, I forgot the point that I was making. But, uh, oh yeah, you know... There's only one person that's responsible here, people. Only one person. And that's the person that was behind the trigger. And for you to take any facts at hand, especially off the internet, because everything on the internet is true, right? Take all the facts at hand, make jumps, leaps, and assertions that you cannot, you, you have no basis for argument. None. You cannot give me a logical argument of why Antifa would claim responsibility. You cannot give me a logical argument of why ISIS has claimed or allegedly claimed responsibility. You cannot give me an argument of why this man illegally was able to fire something that sounded like a fully automatic weapon or had illegally possessed it. There's no argument that you could make that's based in logic and reason. The only argument that I hear, that I see, not just from the uh, trolls on Facebook, but also, you know, like I said, these so-called professional journalists, is knee-jerk emotional bullshit reaction. That's it. Oh, we got a crisis. Everybody changed. Let me, let me last point out this, and I'll let you go. You hearing about Puerto Rico? No? Nothing about Puerto Rico? What about that uh, Hillary book and blame tour? You, you haven't been hearing about that either, huh? Damn. Oh, I know. How about the Russians? Goddamn Russians. You know them fuckers messed with our election because we didn't get our fucking way. Really? You haven't heard of the Russian story? Well, my God, it was such an important story. It was crammed down your fucking throat 24-7 for months. Where did it go? <laughs> People, turn off the noise. Turn off the noise. Stop the noise. Get into yourself in a quiet space. And let things start coming together that you wouldn't normally see because you keep listening to the fucking noise of people who are using you to forward their agenda, not yours. Just because it feels good in the moment emotionally. Up to you. Leave a comment. We'll talk later.